Hey crypto bros and sisters, welcome back to the channel as always. It's your boy Jojo with another crypto update. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you get all my video drops. I drop a video every day, sometimes two. All right guys, let's jump right into it. I have done multiple videos about hackers from North Korea hacking crypto chains and users accounts. One of these major hacking group is called Lazarius. We are now finding out that the money they make from hacking those crypto spaces is going into North Korea's nuclear program. So far this year, from January to August 18th, North Korea affiliated hackers stole 200 million worth of crypto, accounting for 20%, over 20% of all stolen crypto this year, according to TRM Labs. That's just ridiculous. These crypto companies need to get better cybersecurity, guys. Here's a quote from TRM Labs. In recent years, there has been a marked rise in the size and scale of cyber attacks against cryptocurrency related businesses by North Korea. This has coincided with an apparent acceleration in the country's nuclear and ballistic missiles programs, said TRM Labs in a June discussion with North Korea experts. Blockchain analytics company Chain Analysis said in February report that most experts agree that North Korea government is using these stolen assets to fund its nuclear weapon programs. It uses any means to bring income to their country, guys. They are already limited by sanctions, which include bans on financial services, minerals, metals, and arms that are aimed to limit North Korea's access to, you know, sources, resources for their nuclear program. They are under pretty serious economic stress with international sanctions. They need every dollar they can. And this is just obviously a much more efficient way for North Korea to make money. Nick Carlson, intelligence analyst at blockchain analytics firm, TRM Labs told CNBC, even if that dollar stolen in crypto doesn't directly go towards the purchase of some component for the nuclear program, it frees up another dollar to support the reign, the regime, and its programs, said Carlson. Video about the FBI on the trails of the North Korea hacking group Lazarius, who were trying to offload 40 million of crypto they stole from multiple exchanges, guys. The FBI warned these exchanges to be out on the lookout for specific wallet addresses holding these stolen funds. Dictator Kim Jong-un has been recently showing that his country has the capability of shooting long-range missiles that can reach the mainland of countries around them. Crazy to think that these hackers who are stealing crypto may have been part of financing these death bombs, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit me up over there on TikTok at NoCapCrypto with two O's at the end. And if you're watching me on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Help your crypto bro grow this channel. Talk to you guys later.